Hi guys, it's Bentley and welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, I'm Ben and the person holding the camera is Lydra. And if you guys are looking for delicious eats, you guys are in the right place because today we're showing you guys a Japanese barbecue spot that has over 700 locations worldwide. Say hello to Gyu Kaku. If you guys are wondering what Japanese barbecue is all about, then continue watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and click that subscribe button if you haven't already. We're super hungry and excited. Let's get to eating. Lady, where are we going? We're going to the lounge where the bar is. This is the spicy tuna volcano. Whoa, just look at that. The rice is like fried. And oh my god, look at that spicy tuna. Right, I'm going in for it, you guys. Yo, that is bomb.com. The tuna has a little bit of spiciness, so you get the nice crunch of the rice. Definitely an umami bomb. Gave, which is essentially like lightly battered chicken and deep fried. And it also comes with a sauce. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It's like so tender. It doesn't necessarily have a crunch. It's salty and a little bit sweet. Super uber tender. Woo. Guys, they turned this burger on and it is getting hot up in here. So I'm going to take off my clothes. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna roll up my sleeves because it's time to cook. Here at Gyu Kaku, you grill your own meats. Here we have the filet mignon. It's gonna go right in the middle. So if you guys are worried about like how to cook this, they actually tell you how to cook each individual piece of meat like near the middle, off to the side, and for how long. And the thing is, you cannot blame the chef or messing this up because it's how you cook it. <laughs> so we have a spicy sauce, a soy sauce, which is on the sweeter side, and then we have a ponzu, which is on the sour side. Here we have the cheddar, and in this wrapper, this broccoli. So we have a broccoli and cheddar. <laughs> so I'm gonna stick it right here, off on the side. So as we're cooking the meat, we're gonna pay attention to the broccoli and the cheddar. All right, this piece is ready. I'm gonna do it plain, no sauce. They have sauce on the side, but we'll see how good it is for just the meat. Oh yeah, super tender, but it definitely needs salt because they don't add anything to this. We're gonna try it in their spicy sauce first. Very, very sweet. I don't get any hints of uh, a spiciness with it. It's more of like an overall, like just a, a sweet flavor and a little bit of uh, umami, a little bit of savoriness. This is the Kobe Kalbi. And I don't have to say much. Just look at the marbling. That's insane. Look at the char on that. <laughs> Dip it into their soy sauce right here. <laughs> Time out. Time out. All that fat is just like literally just like melts in your mouth. That sauce, that black sauce, game over. <laughs> and if you guys are worried about like smelling, like it being smelly, don't fret because with their grill here, 
the ventilation is actually on the outside. You see the little holes right here? They actually suck in all the smoke so it goes down, so it doesn't go up and you don't smell. Here it goes. All right, guys, and you have to keep a real close eye on this. Just look at that. It cooks so fast. And it's ready within 30 seconds. Oh, 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 oh. oh look at the flame just... It just catches the fat, just catches that flame. Oh my god. Here goes. This Kobe Calbee is so freaking good. It's like, I cannot put words in my mouth right now. You have to come here and try it for yourself. And you will be like me, just like speechless. Oh my god. Alright guys, and you guys must be wondering, what's the difference between Korean barbecue and Japanese barbecue? The biggest difference is that Japanese barbecue or yakiniku is actually the meat. They don't marinate the meat. They like the meat to shine, but for Korean barbecue, it's all about like marinating the meats. So Japanese barbecue, yakiniku, it's on the meats. You grill it and then and then you dip the sauce. But for Korean barbecue, it's marinated and then you barbecue it and then you eat it. Biggest difference. What is this? So it's the beef sukiyaki. Mm. And then we're gonna wanna just mix it all together. Like this. Just gonna press it along the side of the bowl like this. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy Thank you. It. Thank you. Oh, steaming hot. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely a lot of umami. Everything that we've had so far has so much umami in it, you guys. If you guys are feeling a little adventurous, try the cow's tongue. Ooh. <laughs> So for this uh, cow tongue, they have three different types, but we got the scallion cow tongue. Oh yeah, it's going right on top. Ooh. Beef tongue taco, wrapped up like a taco, look at that. <laughs> it's almost like just like a regular piece of beef but has a little bit of a texture and a little bit chewier. And oh yeah, that scallion definitely complements it. Super good. So we ended off with some s'mores at the end there. And you guys, this is a place, it's definitely not a fast food place. This is definitely great for date nights and definitely for large groups. Alright you guys, so we're going to close the video here. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.